Hello, and welcome to another Warrior's Den recap for March 15th. Today's show is a little bland on content, being that we had no Damien, no Roman, and no Luke. It was just Pope with a little bit of news this week. So that should end up making this one hasty and tasty. So let's just jump into it. Ranked Tribute is gone. Ranked Dominion is back. Ranked Promotion and Demotion bonuses have been reduced from 25 to 10%. This allows you to reach your true skill, trademark, more easily. They re-enabled Join in Progress and Flow for today. This should mean that your lobby should no longer be crashing and people should join your lobby. There's some server fixes that should help with overall connectivity. It affects certain regions more than others. There is regional servers that we're simply turning off. This should fix that. We have a weekend event, Dominant Executioner. Perform as many executions as possible. Participation is required to earn steel. You need to get at least one execution in Dominion. Ranked Dominion counts, so get on that before it ends. It'll probably end Saturday afternoon like usual. Ubisoft is having maintenance. Ubisoft wide, Monday morning EST, 3 a.m. or so. This will result in For Honor being down, along with most of the other Ubisoft games as well, for a few hours that morning. For the EU guys, it should be the middle of the day. They are going to be publishing a State of Balance blog post later today. It should give us some insight into what the team is thinking, how they're balancing, and what they think the heroes are currently doing. That will show us a balance list of the whole roster, but it's taken as of the end of Season 4 because they wanted a full season of data. We will be getting another one of these at the end of Season 5, which will have an update with the Kensei leading the pack. And then we have the PC Starter Edition released yesterday. It is $15 or your regional equivalent, it should be fairly cheap compared to the base game. I'll be making a follow-up video for this in particular before the end of the weekend. To summarize though, you get all three vanguards and you get your faction's heroes as playable. You cannot play the non-faction secondary heroes until you purchase them. And DLC heroes are available as usual with the base game for 15,000 steel each. There's a 50,000 steel all heroes bundle that unlocks the set of the base game heroes. Comes out to pretty much the same price as buying standard edition off sale, but it does cost $5 more initially, but you do get 15,000 extra quotes steel. And then for current players, we have Down the Hatch on sale this weekend for 5,000 steel or 50% off. So if you missed it before, you can go ahead and chug your beer, except Ubisoft does not endorse alcohol usage, so it's not really beer. And a limited time only, we have the Lucky Strike Effect. It's fairly cheap at 1703 steel for each part, that is execution, idle, and emote. It will be going away on the 22nd of March, you cannot purchase it after that date, so you can celebrate St. Patrick's Day in style. And I will let the trailer play out for that. I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the battlefield. Uh. 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 Uh.